All right, everyone, here we go. It's an all signs reading. Doesn't matter what your sign is. Straight up energy reading. This is Venus and Scorpio. Well, you got an eight of wands staring at you in the pre-shuffle here. I, I cut the cards and then I shuffled the deck. The, uh, interesting to note, the eight of wands was there even after the cut. And then I shuffled again and it came back. So what is this energy? What is Venus and Scorpio going to do for us? Well, first of all, it doesn't really go in until Sunday. I'm pulling the reading a little ahead of it because I want you to be aware of this energy. And also on Sunday, I'm going to start your October readings. Rocktober. I'm going to start it with the overview. That's my plan anyway. Um, that being said, this energy is, I'm calling it the Fast Times at Ridgemont High energy. Basically, take the movie. It's a classic movie from my childhood. Fast, well, very early childhood. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, right? Take that movie and turn it into an astrological alignment, and that's what you get. Um, it's, it's just kind of like that. It's just that kind of energy. It's the energy where your to-do list goes away, your chore list goes away, and it's, it's all about connecting with friends. It's all about hooking up. It's all about hanging out. It's all about all kinds of shit. All right? I mean, it's just fast times at Richmond High. It is that kind of energy. You might fall out of a van. I don't know. It's a smoke-filled van. I have no idea. Eight of Wands crossed by the page of Wands. It says it all right there. I'll keep going. But it is that kind of energy. It's an energy where you will go off track on your business side of things, shall we say. Your, the dishes will pile up. Your house will look like a fucking frat house. And in the surrounding energies, it kind of is happening that way. It's playing out in an interesting way here. Because it's going to be around... It's, Venus is going to be in um, Scorpio throughout Libra season. For the most part. So, you know, I mean, it's not like it's in Virgo season where it's very practical and you get like a parent energy that calms it down. It's not really happening here. So, Eight of Wands, forward movement, communication, crossed by the Page of Wands is, is, is someone who's just chatty and partying and having fun. And, and there's your emotional immaturity. There's the, the Knight of Wands who doesn't do any chores, any dishes, any anything, just does stuff. There's a lot of impulsive behaviors here. And there's, there's the Fool, a lot of just taking leaps of faith, just going for it. Hey, I feel like driving up the country today. Well, there you go. Off you go, whether you got shit to do or not. You'll find some excuse to get out of going to work that day. I recommend COVID. Like I said, it's the new magic word to get you out of everything. Nobody cares if you got the flu, but if you say COVID, it's like you got the plague. Oh, oh, well, then you should stay home. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I like that idea. So a lot of that's going to be done. A lot of bullshit, calling in sick, all that kind of stuff. But it's all for a purpose. Underneath that is the death card. It, there's, it, it's sort of like the partying before you got to go into prison kind of a thing. Or partying before at the end of summer vacation before you got to go back to school. It's the last hurrah, if you will. I mean, it's basically what it's saying here. Because and when it's all said and done, when the dust settles, after this is over, it's over. And we're all moving in a new direction and things get a little bit serious again. So if things have been serious. We get a moment where they're not. And I, for one, appreciate that as someone who's got to come out here and pull on this energy. I, for one, am going to appreciate starring in Fast Times at Ridgemont High for a few weeks. I'm not saying we won't have deep readings. There will be a few. But, you know, not this one. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's see where we go here. Let's just shuffle the deck. Let's see what's going on. All right. Give me it. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of Venus in Scorpio. First card out's before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? What does that mean for incoming energy? I don't know. Maybe we find out here. The universe just wanted to talk about you in the pre-shuffle. I assume it means if somebody sees you as fun, they might try to hang out with you. right? And you might be interested in hanging out with them. I don't know. We haven't pulled a reading yet. We're going to find out why we're here right now. Why we're here is never the pre-shuffle. That's just me talking to the universe. Saying, hey, what do, you, what do you want me to tell these people at the beginning of the reading? All right? All right. This is interesting. All that yammering on about this, that, and the other thing. And why we're here is the Knight of Pentacles. Um, there's an energy that has been slowly making its way towards you for quite some time. I don't know what it is. It's an opportunity energy. And I don't know what that means. It could be an opportunity with a person, right? I mean, somebody following you with their willy out. I don't know, and you just never noticed it until now. I have no idea. It's an opportunity that's been following you, okay? Uh, it could be it could be job-related. It could be personal. I have no idea. I think that this energy uh, speeds that up a little bit. Lights a fire under the ass of this deer in the headlights. 
or elk as the case may be. Let's go. We'll see. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I get really slow energy here. I don't know. But no, I'm right. It's hidden. It's, a, it's the high priestess. It's, it's an energy. It's an opportunity. I felt it right. I checked my read for you. I cut the cards and check it. I might get egg in my face. I'm not today. Okay? And I like eggs. You know? Um, it, it, it is. It's, it's behind you. It's like, and if you turn around, you, won't, you wouldn't see it under different energy. You wouldn't know. You might suspect it's there. It could be a person that's wanted to ask you out. It could be a person you wanted to hear from. It could be an opportunity. There's just It's been following you slowly making its way towards you. Now I think it picks up speed. Now I think it comes out of the shadows. And I'm right. Look at that fuel in that high priestess is the Six of Cups. It shows up. You can see it now. Hopefully it's not somebody following you with their willy out. That's kind of like, you know, yell for a police officer. But, you know, it's a good, it's a good way to explain it. You know, somebody definitely, something, that opportunity is now very interested in you. Okay? It's always been interested in you, but now it's interested to see if you're interested in it. Can we phrase it that way? Does that make more sense? Okay. We'll do it that way. All right. Let's pull a reading. Let's talk about the, the willy out energy here. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, I said it was fast times at Ridgemont High. You know, I mean, come on. There's a lot of willies out. All right. Just ask Judge Reinhold. There you go. All right. A little classic pool scene. Let's do it. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> That movie was brought to you by Steve, Steve Love Tarot or something like that. I don't know. All right. Cr shuffle in the deck here. Let's go. Give me the soulmate cycle with the influence of Venus and Scorpio. This should be a fun energy. You won't get a lot of chores done, though. Your house will look like shit by the end of this. All right. Don't try it. If you're a type A personality, energies like this. I know my wife is like a type A personality. Energies like this drive her nuts. I know. If you're, so I'm going to tell you, if you're a type A personality, you just need to put that down. You need to flow with the energy. Or it will drive you crazy. This is very liberating, right? Liberation is the overall energy of this reading. Did you expect anything else? I think mean, seriously. It's nine of pentacles. Liberation. Freedom. Summer dress. No underwear. High wind. I don't know. It's liberating. It's beautiful energy. What's fuel in this? Eight of cups. Right? Look at those dishes in the sink right there. Look at that. What am I doing? I'm walking away toward nine cups because there's something more fun on the other side of that hill. Liberation. You're liberating yourself from all nonsense, everything that looks like a chore, fuck it, I'm done. <sighs> Somebody attached to you, okay, here's where it gets real. Somebody attached to you is walking, is just not having anything to do with a relationship that they're in, a life that they're in that's eight broken cups. No doubt about it in that energy. No doubt about it. Okay, all right. Reading's on the flip, right there. Top of the deck. Let's go. Right here is the energy around you and whoever is attached to you. Whoever is behind you with the willy out. Alright? That's how we're phrasing it. We're sticking with it. Male or female. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> right here is the 3D energies around Mr. or Mrs. Willy out. Opportunity that now is hoping you want it because it's wanted you for a while. The soul energy of that person is here. It's red with the energy of connection. Right here. Uh, oh, whoa. Freudian slip. I almost said potential final outcome here. So the, the, the potential final outcome is here. It's tied with the hidden energy, the message from the universe. So we got a lot of talking to do here. All right. All right. Hidden energy, message from the universe, potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I'll clarify everything and throw some universe cards at the end. Okay. That's it. It's probably a link for an extended. I mean, I, I definitely, definitely think that's going to happen. Um, there's 10 cups right there. There's someone walking toward nine cups. I don't want to do those dishes. Look at those fucking things. I cut my hand all the time trying to wash those damn glasses. I'm out of here. Somebody tired of not paying any... It applies to dishes in the sink. Metaphorically speaking, this energy applies to dishes in the sink that you don't want to do. You'd rather go out and have some fun. Right? And, and or relationships that are a chore at home and somebody else looks better. Right? Uh, it's ten of cups. Yo, it, it's it's happiness. It, it's a dream. It's it, it's this connection here is just it's the thing. It's the thing everybody's dreaming about. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants to do this, right? Everybody wants to come to the to the cl to clubhouse. Your connection, okay? Um, we're gonna clarify that, but absolutely, somebody here definitely 
coming your way. I mean, it, it, it's something maybe for some of you that you dared not think about, especially if this is like a career type thing or something or a job type thing. A job you thought would never open up actually can open up in this energy. Okay, so if, if that's something you're concerned about, but it's really nice. I mean, it's 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 not a hazy, dreamy energy. It's more than that. It's much more tactile than that. 3D energy around this person. Four of cups. Yeah, just the board, board. And look at look what happens. What happened? Board. That's boring. Walking away. Liberation. Overall energy. If you're bored in your life. And you start dreaming about this. At the very least, somebody, you're gonna, somebody's just going to sit around all day, not do the dishes, not pay attention to their shitty spouse or the shitty person that they're with or the shitty life that they're living. And they're going to dream about you. You will pick up on that. It may, if you have a strong enough connection with them, cause you to dream about them. Then you're both dreaming about the same thing. But nobody knows because you're not talking to each other. That, oh, that can happen. Mm. Somebody bored. Out of their mind. Okay. What's... In their life, this is their 3D life. It's not about. This is about you. This is you, and they're bored. Backing up everything I've said so far, their soul is here. Bookends the ten of cups. <laughs> I just love it. The soulmate connection is Cancerian. The soulmate cycle. This cycle is Cancerian themed. Okay. This is a card of Cancer. This is a card that represents the soulmate cycle for me. It's in the soul position tied to this Ten of Cups. They're bored in their life. They make a beeline toward what, what's, what feels good. They could be just dreaming about you. They could be showing up. I'm going to make that very clear. I want to hear from somebody go, Well, Venus transited Scorpio, Steve, and my person didn't show up. My response will be, you fucking idiot. Did you listen to my fucking reading? They could just as well be dreaming about you. That's the Ten of Cups. Okay? But it doesn't matter. You'll pick up on it. You'll be dreaming about them. Either way, escapism is what we're talking about here. All right? Mm -hmm. Smoke-filled vans. All right? It's, it's fast times at Ridgemont High. It really is. Um, they come charging in. The soul's on board. It's like, we out of here. All right? That's what I said here. Eight broken cups. Did you do those dishes? No, I didn't do no dishes. I'm out of here. Door slam. Boom. Car start. Gone. Heading toward that. All right. So we got a hidden energy message from the universe, red with ten cups, and a potential final outcome tied together and red with four cups. That ties all four cards together by default. Fuck. Message from the universe. Queen of Wands. Now I gotta pull the final outcome because they're red together. Final outcome. Potential final outcome. Nine of Wands. Yeah. Um, normally this person, whoever this is, can't find a way out. This time they find a way out. There's a there's a there's an opening. There's an opportunity. There's some kind of opportunity that shows up. So you might be thinking, well, my person, I know who you're talking about, Steve, but they can't get away from those eight broken cups. There's no fucking way. Okay. Uh, this energy provides an opportunity. Look at this wall. It's pretty shitty, right? Any of us could get through that. It's been it hasn't been maintained in a long time. There's a section of what usually blocks them. We'll call it a section of the wall that they find. And it's a way out. Okay? It's a way out. Uh, so, yeah, Nine of Wands. We're going we're, we're to have to clarify that. But what usually blocks them from coming towards you is no longer a thing. Nines of the end in tarot. Uh, as far as the Queen of Wands goes and how it ties to everything here, um, you look like a sirloin steak to a steak lover. It's, a, it's an energy of attraction. Nobody's thinking about anything deep in this energy. It's all superficial. It's all hot ass. You see a hot ass you like, you're going to go for it. You don't care if they're smart. You know, you tap them on the shoulder. Hey, baby, you, how you doing? You, you're hoping for some science talk or something like that. And they come back at you with, hi, how, how are you? You know, well, you don't care. It doesn't matter. It's all about the hot ass, male or female. That's it. It's very superficial. I get it. But it's, it, that's what it is. That's why I call it the Fast Times at Ridgemont High. You don't go to Fast Times at Ridgemont High and watch the movie, rent the movie, whatever. You expect some kind of Shakespearean, it, 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 you know, masterpiece theater thing. It's fucking Fast Times at Ridgemont High. It, it, it is what it is. All right? I mean, that's, that's what's going on. This is the superficial energy. It's all they want what they want. Bored in their life. Any, even the least bit bored, eight broken cups, head your way. Okay, and that can be, and now here, here we go, that can be because the Ten of Cups came out here, it can be just in dreams, but dreams are just, dreams are powerful, okay, 
They've done studies. Listen, they have. And my whole life is a study in it. I dreamed the life when I was a kid that I have right now. I'm not talking about a fucking tarot channel on YouTube, but I, I mean my whole existence. What I've been for the last fucking adult years of my life. I dreamt it all up as a kid. I just followed through with actions and, and followed the energy that took me to it. Right? I called in the energy, got myself in line with the frequency of what I wanted, and then flowed with that frequency. A lot of people do that. A lot of people dream up their life, but they never flow with the frequency. It's there. It's right there around them, and they just, eh, I'm not going to do it. Too chicken. Too whatever. It happens, happens a lot. At the end of the day here, these dreams are powerful, is what the universe is saying. It's, it's driven, it's fueled by the soulmate cycle itself. It's powerful. It's, it's very, very powerful. It's plugged into the fucking wall, not running on a battery. All right? Wow. All right. Let's clarify. So... They just have to dream about each other, but usually you'll come together in the dreams. You'll actually, it'll actually feel very tactile to you, and that's why that energy felt tactile to me. Okay, whether it's a dream or not. For some of you, somebody shows up, and it blows your motherfucking mind. All right. For others of you, uh, this is just people. This is just out there. You're going to be in this mood of, you know, I just, I just want to bang. You know, just using it as an example. And as soon as you put that out there, someone else will also want to bang. And you will cross paths with them. And if you will be online with the frequency. And if you want to, go for it. Just always know why you're doing shit. That's all. You know, don't, don't get delusional. There is an opportunity to get delusional in this energy. Be careful. All right? It's not going to last forever. Oh, we're going to be together forever. No, 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 no. You know, maybe probably not. Probably not in this energy. It's very superficial. You're together because you both liked each other's asses. Okay, let's be honest. That's not gonna. That's not the foundation of a 50-year marriage and a, you know dying together in the rest home. You know, it, it really. You know, it's got to be a little more than that. You don't care in this energy. It's fast times at Ridgemont High. You're not buying it because it's masterpiece theater. You're buying it because it's it's fun. Okay, that's it. All right, here we go. I got mad they recently closed down the convenience store. It was open. The, the store, the, the little convenience store, uh, was open for a long time in Santa Monica. It was, they, they paved it over. It's now a storage, an overflow storage lot for a car dealership. Eh, fuckers. Anyway. And the uh, fast food restaurant there, the, the burger joint, is uh, coffee bean and tea leaf over in uh, Brentwood. <laughs> Ah, the paved paradise, right? Put up a parking lot. All right, Ten of Cups. Let's clarify. Let's go. Let's go. I think the sign for the uh, convenience store is still there, though, the uh, little market. Anyway, um, Nine of Swords. Yeah. Nine, nines, uh, we got a lot of Nines of the End in Tarot here, okay? That is a powerful energy. It's Someone who's usually nervous to talk to you. Multiple birds in the air are nervous about communication. Things you're... Let's just make it you. Let's make it more real because you're here too. Okay, let's be honest. Things you're usually afraid to say to people, things you would never do, you're going to act out of character here. It's just... It's just it's, this, this is a stronger energy than this. Okay, it is. It's much more appealing. Especially because this, we, you can see the juxtaposition, the contrast, Right? Well, if I don't do anything, I'm stuck here with this rat. And that, that's, this isn't enough to stop anything. So that's why we go for it. So yeah, it's very much a go for it energy. What's on top? It's rated R for sure at the very least. Okay, nobody getting in under 17 without a parent or legal guardian. All right. uh, two of Pentacles. Wow. Why is that here? <laughs> Queen of Swords, yeah. Um, spoiled for choice. The problem with this energy, I gotta, I gotta give you both sides of the coin. All right, you're spoiled for choice. At the end of the day, you're gonna have to make your decisions fast. The problem with Scorpio Venus in the surrounding energies that it's in is, I'm sorry, I was my my nose is running like a DM. Um, the problem with it is the opportunities don't last very long. The opportunity catches you, it catches up to you. It's, it's, it's an op you know, what, whatever it is. You've got, in some cases, you've got opportunities that have wanted, 
that have been following you for a while, like we talked about, the person with the willy out behind you, but you don't know about following you, it shows up, you make eye contact, it's there, but it goes away very quickly. All right? It's the same thing applies to anything you're going after. If you wait, if you dilly dally on it, it'll go away. Once you realize it, act on it. If you sit with the sword in the sheath too long, mm, you'll end up frustrated if you don't do anything in this energy. If all you do is the chores, we'll call it chores, whether it's the board, just deal with the boredom. I'm just going to deal with the boredom, Steve. I'm just that kind of person. If that's all you do, you will end this, you will end this transit very frustrated. Branch out. Try something. Anything. Try something different. Step outside your comfort zone just for a moment. And that will in inevitably cause a domino effect of others doing the same thing because like energy attracts like energy. It'll make your energy more appealing. Okay? Kind of a thing like that. Sort of like when, when we say if you put a manifestation out there, right? You're trying to manifest something. You put it out there. You create a void. And then you... As, as best you can, even if it's daydreaming about it, live your life like it's actually happening. Right? That kind of thing. All right? Um, four cups. Bored. Boredom. It's just boring. Wow. Some masterpiece theater shit is playing in theater two. I'm sitting here. And over there in theater three is fast times at Ridgemont High. But sneak over to theater three, man. It's just not, you're not in the mood for it, okay? PBS is going to get a lot less views during this transit because people just aren't in the mood for the artsy shit. They want just bullshit, superficial nonsense. It's okay once in a while. It's nice. It's a release. Let your hair down, right? Let your, let your hair down. Let the summer dress blow in the wind. Go. What's going on? Four of Cups. Why is it here? There is a warning with this, which I will give. First, I'm going to say it's crossed by strength. Yeah. You just don't have to say that. You, for some reason, you, people attached to you, you're, you're that person who says, my person can't come towards me, Steve, or they never can. There's always, you know, blah, 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 blah. They have the strength to do it. It's there. You don't, when you get bored, it is just, you're powerful. It's, it's like a hulk breaking out of a cage. Now, on the negative side of this influence, I do have to add one thing. If you have Venus and Scorpio in your chart, okay, you were born, Venus was in Scorpio. You tend to be someone, from, from the best I can tell, from the people I've talked to that have that, and I do my own research. I don't rely on all my life I've done that for my energy studies and reading, fig figuring out this stupid ability I have to pick up on things. I, I do my own research. And that's what I, I always encourage everyone to do. But anyway, um, I, I have found that people born with Venus and Scorpio tend to have a little more sensitivity to childhood issues. They allow it to affect their self-worth a lot more than the average Joe or Jane that maybe doesn't have Venus and Scorpio. If that's the case, a lot of that might get activated in this energy. But you, uh, and that's part of this Four of Cups. But you do have the strength to deal with it here. Okay. And you deal with it by simply taking the damn sword out of the sheath and, and getting the eye of the tiger a little bit and going, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to step outside my box a little bit. I'm going to prove to myself that I'm not defined by my past. That's, that's one way to get past it here. The strength is there. In this transit, the opportunity is there for you to overcome that. The opportunity is there for everybody to overcome whatever is boring to them. Not what, what would keep them stuck? What's on top? Judgment. See? It's a resurrection energy, but it's a phoenix rising type thing. Alright? It's a phoenix rising energy. Um, it's like a new lease on life. There's a lot of here. A lot of heart, a lot of passion here. Leo, passionate forward movement. Why is judgment here? The Knight of Wands. See? I'm making this look. Look! Look at the fucking cards. That's why I pull them. I don't need them. But it, it, this is why tarot always blows my fucking mind. You know, I mean, and the, the Knight of Wands. There it is from the pre-shuffle that just my party girl's big sister. She's, she's in her early 40s, late 30s. You don't be going to parties where you're lighting bongos on fire at that age. You got to be at work in the morning. You got shit to do. You got a couple of kids. What the fuck are you doing? Right? She's at the party. Right? Doesn't matter. Right? Oh, the kids can sit by themselves. It's the kind of energy where you'll leave the kids by themselves. It's fine. Well, we, we duct tape the stove buttons. Yeah, they'll be fine. You know, I mean, it is that kind of energy. Somebody here taking some chances. And that's the secret to this energy. The, the power is there to do it. 
Okay? The Hulk strength is there to do it. All right. The chariot and the soul. I mean, the chariot and the soul. I mean, you've even got the vehicle. The vehicle is the soul. She might be at that party, but she's there with soul. Man, heart and soul at that party. Lighting somebody's bongo on fire. That still pisses me off. That really pisses me off. It does piss me off because I got one of my favorite guitars that I've had for years. It's got a cigarette burn in it from some girl who asked, can I hold it? Sure, yeah. I didn't think you were going to hold it with your cigarette, but okay. Yeah, you go. Go, go ahead. You know, I got fucker. All right. Anyway, chariot. Let's go. Chariot. Why is it here? It's crossed by the king of swords. Oh, Jesus. And there's the queen of swords. Oh, unreal. But this my sitting king and my sword in the sheath. Normally these two would fight. They're read together. They bookends. There's no argument here. This person knows exactly what they want to do. Exactly. This is my king of action. Right. Not even arguing. No, there's no arguing with themselves. It's go time. It's on top. It's go time. Come on, the chariot on top of the chariot. I was hoping. I'm like, as soon as I pulled this card, I thought, I said it's go time. This better not be a fucking four of pentacles or some shit like that. You know, it's the chariot on top of the chariot. I love it. I love it. The universe is with me on this one. I think we're going to watch Fast Times at Ridgemont High after this reading. That, that, that might be fun. Uh, why is the chariot here? The emperor. All right, there it is. The emperor drives the chariot. That's why it's go time. You don't get any more go time than the driver of the chariot on top of two chariots, with the king of, with the king of action here. One of the kings of this. So this is if this is at all an out of balance emperor, it's out of balance reflecting mostly king of swords, king of action. So this it's 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 just it's it's all this whole reading, the whole top row backs up exactly what I said. What's the most interesting part of this reading to me is this Nine of Wands. It does talk about them being able to find an opening to get out. I get that. But as your final outcome, the Nine of Wands, interesting. You might, you might have other ideas. In other words, we'll see when we get there, but you, you might, somebody might think your ass is hot, but you're looking at someone else's ass. So you sort of put a wall up for them. Not completely. You might bang them. But you put a wall up for that and you go after what you want and then maybe you come back to them. Be careful about that because these opportunities don't hang around. Okay? Just be careful. Mr. or Mrs. I got my wall superpower here. All right. Make it easy. I don't remember the wall being a superhero. I don't remember the wall. And if the wall was a superhero, I don't think it's a very good one. That's a stupid superpower. All right. Here we go. Unless you're trying to quiet the neighbors down, I'll put up an extra wall. Anyway, Queen of Wands. Talk to me about this. This is this is just attraction. It's superficial, right? You might, in the middle of banging somebody in this energy, you might say to yourself, "Why am I doing this?" Right? Oh, that's. Right. And then you take a look at him and you go, "Oh, that's why." Right? That's it. There's no. You're not going to have deep conversations in this energy. It's not going to happen, and you're not even looking for it. And no one's looking for it from you. So, it's possible a runner returns a deep soulmate. It, it is possible. But you're not going to have that. Don't even try to have that deep conversation. Right? Just see their return in this energy as proof of how attracted they are to you. Okay? And just take it for what it is. Let this energy dissipate out. All right? Okay. Do what you want to do. I don't care. Queen of Wands. Let's go. I don't get jealous. You guys can bang other people. It's fine. All right, it's crossed by the Four of Pentacles. The card I said I didn't want to see where the chariot came out. I got it right here. Um, there's there's no inhibitions here. There's there's the environment. Look, the, there's nothing, no none. Be careful. It's like being drunk, like really drunk, and then roofied, and then drunk again on top of it. There, be careful with this energy. You will do things and people that you never would do before. All right, it's an intoxicating energy. Stay in. The, this card is talking about you have the ability with the strength card. There, remember, all four of these are tied together. You have the ability to stay in control. Keep that ability, all right? Keep some element of control here. Maybe that's why this wall is here. Maybe it is important that you become that wall superhero, okay? All right, that's all I'm saying. Okay. But the miser definitely doing some spending. Miser energy. What's on top? The Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles, liberation. 
Liberation. You can't see it in the picture, but she's not wearing pants. That's just a long shirt. That's all it is. It is spectacular. Okay? But these energies, this red with the two of pentacles, you, could, you can't make a bad decision in this energy. You really can't. You're pretty well protected here, the way I see it. Okay? Because you have the ability to retain control. Okay? You could say no at any time. Right? It's like something, a lot of times marketing companies will get you to buy something by saying you can cancel any time or you could just return it if you don't like it, that kind of thing. It's that kind of energy. It, it comes like that. It's just like that. And then you find, except with those things, you usually find out afterward that it's a raging pain in the ass. Yes, I can return it, but I have to go through a gauntlet to make it happen. But at the end of the day, you don't have to worry about that here. All right? Liber it's, it's a very, it's very just loose free energy. I mean, it is nine of pentacles on top of the loosey-goosey energy that's right here with the, again, oh, zero inhibitions. None. You might reach up and try to take a falcon or a hawk out of a tree. I do not advise that in the wild. Okay? I don't. All right. I tried to advise somebody of that once. We had the uh, Cooper's hawks in the neighborhood and the baby hawks of, uh, of occipiters like to sit low. Uh, which is what a Cooper's Hawk is. It's an occipiter. They like to sit low. So they sit on like fences that are like five feet high and stuff. And they're just out of the nest. They, they're about maybe, you know, six weeks old, eight weeks old, something like that. And they just out of the nest. And, and people, I saw people going up trying to like pet them and stuff. And I'm like, oh, uh, you shouldn't do that. One guy learned the hard way that he might have listened to me. Right? If nothing else, mom's watching. All right. What's going on? Um, but you might try to do all kinds of crazy shit like that. Okay. Um, except I don't think I don't think you'll get as hurt as that guy did. All right. Ow! All right. What's going on with the Nine of Pentacles? Oh, oh, oh! Well, wow! My deck is not upside down. That's a Knight of Cups reversed. You know what that this this that means? You'll I'm right. Look, I don't say anything or joke about anything that's not in the energy. I talked about people stupidly approaching. Well, just because this look at there's this hawk and it's. Sitting five feet off the ground. I guess that means I could pet it. Why do you think that means you could pet it? If a shark comes and swims next to your boat, does that mean that it's tame? Oh, it must be all right to go swimming now. He's close to the boat. No, that doesn't mean that. It's still a fucking shark and it's still a fucking hawk. Don't be reaching up and grabbing it unless it's your pet. At the end of the day here, you will go for shit. This is what this is to say. Nobody needs to approach you. You will do the approach. You got a runner out there. You might approach them in this energy. Oh, you might surprise yourself. Things you would normally hold yourself back from, you don't. It's on like Donkey Kong. It's, it's on. You might approach. You might actually do it. But you will definitely go after what you want. The universe is making this clear. Which ties us to this Nine of Wands, which is your final outcome. So now we're going to clarify that. We're going to make sure the deck isn't upside down. It's not, and it wasn't for that. That just got put in backwards some, for some reason. So why are you giving my viewers the Nine of Wands here? Look, it's a fun energy. I'll give you both sides because there are some dangers with it. Now, I, but you, you can conquer all those dangers. You know, uh, For the most part, this is a lot of fun. But if you're expecting deep conversation, if you're expecting masterpiece theater, when you watch a movie like Fast Times at Ridgemont High, you're not going to get it. You're going to be disappointed. So you're getting this reading so you know. Look, it's a stupid movie about a bunch of teenagers. A couple of them bang, there's titties in it. One of them spanks off to somebody in a pool. You know, it's just that kind of movie. It's not, it's not Shakespeare. All right? At the end of the day, expect as long as you know what you're getting into and why you're doing things this is a very much a fun energy but yeah the dishes will pile up in your sink for sure here and somebody else's too but it looks like you go after just as much as what comes after you if not more good good for you you're a real go-getter you showed up strong in this reading I mean, I've got incoming energies coming your way, absolutely, but I've got you charging forward too, which is what I said that ties back to what I said about this Nine of Wands. You may have a long-lost soulmate or somebody who's been interested in you for a while showing up, but if you're looking at something else, you may put up a wall and block that, okay? And again, I tell you, be careful because these opportunities are also superficial and flighty, meaning they don't hang around long, right? It's like bubbles. Well, yeah, oh, look at the bubbles. You, you know, you blow bubbles and shit with soap. They don't hang around long, 
And, you know, you can't, you don't get to sit and just enjoy it all day. Let's enjoy this bubble all day. No, it'll, it'll eventually just pop. Very quickly, in fact. Why is the nine of wands here? It's the moon. Um, I know why the universe wants to tell you this. Uh, be sure as you're going after things, as things are coming to you, okay? Yes, you need to act quickly, but you also need to take a good look at them, okay? That's why that Queen of Swords is there. You also need to take a quick look at them. Somewhere here, this is my Queen of Cups in this deck, right? That's the most love I could pull from the deck. Somewhere in all this madness, believe it or not, is <laughs> coming through the wall here is, is a really powerful love. There's a hidden gem in all of this madness, okay? And you're going to have to look to find it because it's underwater. Mm. All right, what's on top? Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Uh, why is that here? I love an ending like this. I love that the universe did this. Hidden. Hidden. High Priestess. See? Look, I'm smiling right now because I just totally fucking called it. There's my Queen of Cups underwater. There's a hidden gem here. You're going to have to look to find it because it's underwater. I just repeated what I said to save you the trouble rewinding because nobody ever does when I say rewind. Right? But I said it. It's, it's, it's a, it's a, there's a hidden gem here and it's deceptive. It might actually be something that you block. Be careful about, well, I'm looking at this over here and I want to go for that. You've got that drive to go for it and you block something else that comes in. Try to find a way in this energy. I, you know, I always give you a tip. I gave you a tip in the recent moon reading. I said, don't put ten swords in something that you're tempted to put ten swords in it. Right? And I talked about that and, and explained it to you why you're getting that information. You're getting this information here because I want you to, before you, you put up a wall on something, right? I want you to be very careful about that. All right, you might be focused. I want this. I want this over here. Be sure you you somehow give equal footing to each, equal assessment. Don't shut down an opportunity that comes in to to get too focused on something else that you want. Find some balance in this energy, and you'll thrive in it. Okay, because you may in this energy cast off something that, and you what you may not even realize you'll regret it later. But it's something that's definitely worth giving to. If you give to it, it will show itself to you. That's how you get this Queen of Cups up to the surface so you can see it by giving to it. Ben, this is a Six of Pentacles. This is balanced energy. I didn't even know that was there. And it's what I've been talking about. You've got to balance your desire with the incoming energy. You've got to sort of play a busy, I don't know, a, a busy worker in a store who's juggling different things. I mean, it's the easiest way I could say it. You know? um, but yeah, wow. Very deceptive. In other words, this might be an energy here where you're inclined. Well, I'm looking at this over here. I'm going to put up a wall to that. You might be inclined to do that. I wouldn't. Okay? I wouldn't. Careful. So try to find some balance in this energy. Don't just go after what you want. Know that you're what other energies want too. Okay? So allow that in. Allow everybody, you know, fair and balanced, whatever you want to call it. All right. But this energy points out, and that's why this is here. That's why these I Freudian slip that these two are tied together because here you are just going for shit. Look, I yelled at that guy. I said, hey man, you don't want to be touching that hawk. I know he looks cute and everything like that. He's sitting low, but you don't want to do that. If they're out of the nest, they've, they're already not imprinted on a human. You know, it's, it, it, he's like, oh no, I'll be fine. I, I, got, I got birds at home. He said something like that. Well, you ain't got a fucking hawk at home. You, a cockatiel don't count, motherfucker. All right? You see the beak on that thing? So, again, you're going for shit. You might be really focused on it. You might think you know what you're doing. I'm going to cast this off. I'm telling you. Be careful what you cast off. Be careful what you put a wall up to. Make sure your wall is see-through that you put up. All right? That's all. I don't want you to miss that. Neither does the universe. All right? Because this high priestess ties to the high priestess we got in the, in the cut cards. This is the person here. That's been following you the whole time with the willy out. And, and, I, and the universe seems to think that you might like that willy. And keep in mind, it's probably going to be deceptively small. It might be cold. At this time of year in the northern hemisphere, it could get very cold. Okay? Alright. I'm just saying. Again, I'm talking in metaphors, but you got to catch my drift. It could be somebody you don't wouldn't normally go for. It can be. It's often what it is. I talk to a lot of people in relationships, including my own, you know, my own relationship isn't something, you know, that most people would figure I would go for. It's just what it is. 
that's just what it is. Sometimes the craziest things happen. Seven Cups. Final message to you. Seven Cups, Hierophant, Magician. Knight of Swords crossing the Hierophant. I almost called it a Page of Swords. Underneath it is the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Um, all of this is fun. All of this is great. Okay. But there is one fucking thing that matters here. There is one connection you'll make. You have the potential to make in this energy. It finally can break free or you finally can break free. Something about this energy brings it to you. And all the fucking bullshit, all the fucking things, and all the people you might go for, all the hawks you might reach for, all the thing, all of it. There's one. The universe is very clear. It's, it's really harping on this final outcome. There is one. It's somebody that you have some karma with and that explains why you might put up a wall to it. Okay? You might pick up on that. Don't. Just don't put up a wall to anything. Allow those inhibitions to drop in this energy. Just retain some control so you always know what you're doing. Okay? That's all. It's like the miser setting a budget, right? The miser goes, I'm, 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 I'm going to spend some money for once, but I'm only going to spend this much, right? So that's, that's letting down your inhibitions, but retaining some control, not going crazy. There's a very powerful connection, right? Uh, there's no doubt about it. I um, mean, it's something that could last a very long time. I'll tell you. There's an empress. There's a sun. It's unreal. That's your reading. Um, it's the best I can tell you. Have fun with this energy. Enjoy it. It starts, well, it probably starts about the time this reading goes up. There's always a, energies always bleed. There's no definite, oh, well, Venus isn't in Scorpio today, so it isn't happening today. It, that doesn't work that way. The energy kind of bleeds in and blends together. So, you know, it's probably going on about now. It starts, it'll start to intensify after, after Sunday, you know, and flow through. So enjoy this energy. Have some fun with it. Take it for what it is, though. You don't try, don't try to watch Fast Times at Ridgemont High and expect Masterpiece Theater. It's not. You're not going to meet anybody that you find particularly deep. You're not going to care. They're not going to care. Nobody's going to care. However, within all of that lack of substance, there is one very powerful connection that you have a chance to blow out some karma with. Okay, at the very least. But there's a lot of love that goes back a lot of lifetimes with this particular energy, whoever it is. All right, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you want the extended, the link's in the description. I'm going to go pull some wicked voodoo on this. I got a very interesting final outcome. I don't have a devil, but I kind of do with, with the mild devil energy of the Seven of Swords here. And I got some karma here off the magician, which is what's reflecting off of it for me. We'll see. We'll see where we go. See what else the universe wants to tell you. Pull some side reads. Have some fun. All right? It's fun energy. We'll have some fun. That's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. Good luck.